Good evening, and welcome back to Morbid Mondays. Today you learn a new term, safety coffin. Stay with me because it's as weird as it sounds. So it turns out that being buried alive was a really common and very large fear in the 18th and 19th centuries. Now, understandable considering there were cases of it recorded as early as the 14th century, and as recently as 2014. So, the fear of this, of, of basically, oh god, I'm not dead, get me out of here, led to the invention of the safety coffin. Now, these things were as simple as a string with a bell attached to it that jingled when you pulled it, and as complicated as feeding tubes, elaborate escape hatches, and even one guy had keys. So, one particularly gruesome case was one of Alice Blunden, who was buried alive not once, but twice. So, as the story goes, she had a particularly strong tincture of poppy tea, and fell dead. She was unresponsive, and her family, being that it was summer, buried her promptly. Now, a couple days later, some kids were playing near the graveyard and apparently heard someone crying out for help, so they ran to go get help. They exhumed the body, found her lamentably beaten. Basically, she'd tried to claw her way out, but she was unresponsive, so they popped her back in the grave and lowered her back down. They called for a coroner who wouldn't be there for the next day. When he did get there the next day, apparently at some point during the night, she had woken up and thrashed about hard enough to wind herself in the burial shroud and promptly died again. Huh. Wonder if she'd had a safety coffin, she might have survived. P.S. There are no recorded cases of the safety coffins actually saving someone.